In this video I'm going to show you how I frag a chalice coral. Uh, this is a Hollywood Stunner chalice and just got it sitting here in a little tray of water. Uh, what's nice about this coral, if I flip it over like this, is you can see the original uh, tile that it's uh, mounted to and it doesn't really encrust very much onto that tile. It like flows off to the side so this one I can get some really nice frags off of. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut it with my clippers. Uh, I try to, to clip, it's kind of hard to see here with the lighting, but I try to clip and get as many eyes in as I can. Uh, a coral saw would work a lot better for doing this, but I find that the clippers work just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead Start clipping the excess off. And I've done this several times on this coral. It's a very fast grower for me. Uh, so I'm not really worried about uh, any kind of damage. It bounces right back very resilient. Okay, that pretty much does it. Now I'm going to put this piece back in my display tank and we'll mount the rest of the frags here. So you can see I've got five pretty good sized frags here. So I'm going to use the larger frag plugs for those ones. And then I counted about four smaller pieces. Uh, I'm not going to use like these really little tiny pieces. You could, but uh, for this coral here, it just grows so fast for me, I'll just end up probably tossing those. So anyway, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Get yourself some uh, super glue gel. I like using the uh, IC gel brand here. Puts a little bit of glue onto the plug. Grab your frag. And put it right into the glue. Set it back down into the water here, and the salt water actually uh, accelerates the uh, the bond on the super glue. Actually, firms it up real quick. And then I'll go ahead and uh, glue the rest of these up. The big ones and the small ones. Okay, so I've got my frags all glued onto the plugs. And I ended up with one more of the larger ones than I thought I was going to have. But anyways, I'm using uh, ceramic frag plugs here. And what's nice about the ceramic ones is that they don't need to be cured prior to using. Uh, some of the aragonite uh, plugs, you have to put them in your sump for a while and uh, let them cure. There are some companies out there that are making the aragonite plugs that are already pre-cured, but just have to check the labels uh, when you get them. But anyways, uh, these are all good to go here. They're pretty much set up. Now I'm going to put these into my frag tank and let them grow out. And This is a good way to uh, propagate corals and trade them amongst other hobbyists and uh, keep the hobby growing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy reefing.